Can you just give me kind of a brief overview on what the Oklahoma Beer Alliance does and is uh, for those who've never heard of it? Sure. The Oklahoma Beer Alliance, um, we're a pro-business organization, and I represent um, through the alliance all of the Anheuser-Busch distributors in the state, as long as uh, along with Anheuser-Busch, the brewer. And we're hoping to grow that membership in the future, but that's what we're made of right now. We've been in existence for a couple of years now. And what all work did you guys do uh, for this ahead of time for this these fourteen uh, in these fourteen counties before this election? Well, we worked with those counties to uh, try and get this on their uh, ballot. Some of them weren't real clear about the need for this. I think a lot of people, when they voted for modernization through uh, State Question Seven Ninety Two, they were thinking that's all they needed to do, um, and there were still these remaining, um, as of this election cycle, there's the re- remaining 14 dry counties. And so we made sure that the, their county commissioners, uh, through their local businesses, that some of them were our customers. We worked through them to um, make them aware of this problem. And so they, in turn, worked with their county commissioners to get this on the ballot. And so we've been doing that through just kind of a grassroots effort and, and supporting it as, as best we could uh, because we were not wanting these businesses in these counties or the consumers to be left out after October 1st and not be able to uh, continue to get a beer of any kind at one of their local businesses there. Was there uh, any difficulty in any counties in getting that, or were they all willing to at least put it out uh, for a vote? I think they all, once they heard from their local businesses that were concerned and and, um, citizens that they all seemed willing to do that. And um, all but two of the counties had been supportive of state question 792. So there was, they already knew from, um, I would say, from their voting citizens that they wanted modernization. So I think that was, they took that as a cue. What are the next steps in this process for these counties? Um, as, as they as they adjust prior to uh, October 1? Well, of course, since these uh, counties just voted for this, those businesses uh, need to start their process to get inter- their interim license from the ABLE Commission uh, so that they will be able to continue to sell beer or, you know, wine or alcohol after October 1st. And uh, this process takes some time, and we're hoping they'll immediately get to work on that process. Uh, there's also... One of the holds up, hold up right now is, well, of course, Abel's inundated with all these businesses, not just the dry counties, but all counties. Uh, all the currently uh, businesses that are currently just selling free two beer must apply for an interim license to be able to sell strong beer in the, in, after October 1st. So, uh, and then there's all the employee licenses. So Abel's just getting inundated. But one of the problems that we're running into now is that municipalities um, in these areas uh, where people are applying for these licenses, must also update uh, what's called a cer- certification of compliance that rezones the business to allow them to sell full strength beer or alcohol. And um, that seems to be holding up some of the licenses. So now this is kind of our next step is to work with um, municipalities and, and um, organizations that uh, work along with municipalities to try to educate them on the need to... to um, push forward these uh, certi- certifications so that these businesses won't uh, so they'll be able to start serving alcohol and beer on October 1st and there won't be a delay in their licensure. Are there uh, counties with specific rules for sales on Sunday and restrictions on, on certain days? Well, part of the, um, one of the follow-up bills the legislature did um, is allowed for Sunday sales in liquor stores, but it's by a county vote as well. And um, that, no, I don't know of any counties that have, have put that on the ballot yet. We'd I'd expect like Oklahoma County or Tulsa County probably be the first counties to do that. But yes, there are some counties that have some other restrictions on, um, yeah, regarding Sunday sales and, and uh, bars or restaurants and that type of thing. But that's pretty limited. And I think there's some of those that are also. Uh, slowly changing out and, and voting uh, to change those as well. But those are much more um, smaller scope. And like you said, it's, a lot of times it's a very small uh, population or, or um, 
or area doing that still. Okay. Hopefully they'll gradually change that out. We were just more concerned with them being left with absolutely no way to serve any kind of beer going forward. 